Have you ever wondered what They Might Be Giants have been up to since you stopped listening to them? I was a huge fan at one time, but lost touch with them over the years. It's time to go back. Here's a look at their 2016 album, Phone Power. Uh, this is a copy of the vinyl version, and it's actually the limited edition 180 gram white vinyl version. And I wasn't going to do that because I'm not really a record collector, I just think records are cool. But it was like $10 more and I was ordering a bunch of They Might Be Giants vinyl and so I thought, well, as long as I'm spending this much money, why not? So, let's open it up. Let's open it up. Where do I start? I always want to put my thumbnail in here and like scrape it, but my thumbnail is too short. I'll try it. And I'm just going to dent it. Alright, let's try it. try it this way. My hands were clean several albums ago, but I've been sitting here opening a bunch of albums in a row, and I guess they're still clean. Anyway, this is white, so you won't be able to see my grubby little fingerprints. And if you can, keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it. All right. Here we go. No stickers on this shrink wrap again. Oh, well, well, there's that sticker, but that's not really cool. That's just, I bought this from They Might Be Giants official website, and that's what their stickers look like. Who cares? Okay, here we go. It's all this kind of old style text uh, on both sides. Cool text and cool colors. Here's the inside of the gatefold for the first time. You probably want to sit down for this because it's so exciting. Here we go. More text! I guess that is, uh, yes, <laughs> this is representations of the, very hard to read representations of the song titles. Apophenia, number two, psychological, I love you for psychological reasons. Number three, to, to, T-O-A forest, Toa forest, anyway. So, that is nothing. Let's see. Here we go. Let's check out what's in here. There's the inner sleeve, a custom printed inner sleeve. There, yeah, there's a download code card here. Thank you for purchasing this copy of the MIP Giants phone power. Okay. Anyway, the inner sleeve is uh, glossy and nice. These are people in the fan club, I think. Super president, super president, super president. So super presidents of the fan club, anyway. And some other, this is hard to read, in a good way. I think it's hard to read in a good way. I love their uh, sense of art. Okay, here we go. Here's the vinyl, here's the vinyl. I'm touching it, I'm sorry, but ugh, it's hard to come out. Come on, come on. And it's stuck, like static clinging. Ooh. That heavy white vinyl, perfect. No song titles, just a little bit of basic information and a gigantic two and a gigantic one with a bunch of hyphens. This is beautiful, this is beautiful. This is going to be amazing to hear. So let's go listen to it. I'm gonna go listen to it, find out all about the music and then come back and talk about what I think of the music on phone power. Okay, I've been listening to phone power over and over all week. Before I heard it, I assumed that this album, which is made up mostly of songs from the last one-third of Dial-A-Song 2015, sort of, was probably They Might Be Giants running on fumes, scraping the bottom of the barrel, exhausted and out of ideas, just cranking out boilerplate music to get through it all. Well, man, I was wrong. Phone power is awesome. I think it's the two Johns inspired and playful, firing on all cylinders, as it were. It all sounds so good, and every, every musical idea feels really comfy, like it's supposed to be, just like it is. I mean, it's not like phone power is a big musical departure for the band. John Linnell and John Flansburg still write and record the music they're best at, which is, as always, Linnell's cheerful pop rock songs about confusion and the decay of relationships, and Flansburg's more pensive and musically dense, or playful, explorations of people at crossroads. And as I keep saying in every video, lots of crossover between them. What I like about Phone Power most, or one of the things, is the fearlessness of They Might Be Giants. Every single song just sounds lived in. Not overly complex or anything, just inspired. 
They're all different enough to make it a really satisfying album overall. Actually, you probably wouldn't really expect Phone Power to be a super cohesive album since it wasn't conceived as one. I even saw a debate online over whether to consider it an album album or a compilation. I personally don't care what you call it, but getting used to it on vinyl, you know, opening the shrink wrap and like sliding the big fat white vinyl out and flipping it over after side A and all that sure feels like an album album to me. But no, it doesn't have any thematic glue holding it together or any sort of feel of a single project or piece, and why would it? But you have to remember that it was compiled this way for some reason. The band had a bunch of songs to choose from. I mean, the first two albums from Dial a Song 2015, uh, Glean and Why, these two albums only used up 27 of the project's uh, 52 songs. Plus, there were a bunch of bonus songs anyway, so there were lots to choose from for phone power. And they stuck with these, going back to April of that year for some songs that didn't make it to Glean or Why. And they put them in this order. And I think it sounds excellent as an album. One of the main things that stood out to me when I first heard Phone Power was the guitar, and especially the guitar solos, like the one on To a Forest. It's just big blasts of raunchy, like really raunchy notes. Too dirty to be melodic. It sounds really cool and somehow in that magical TMBG way, feels totally at home on the song, which is otherwise very gentle and pretty. And then there's the two remakes on Phone Power, both guitar heavy, like heavy guitar driven versions of earlier, more gentle songs. One is Bills, 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 which when I first heard the album, I couldn't believe. You see, let me tell you a story. Bills, Bills, Bills is a classic 1999 song by Beyonce's old group, Destiny's Child. Well, I never heard it or even heard of it before Phone Power. The closest thing in my life to Destiny's Child in 1999 was this album. Destiny's Children, a 1986 record by Sky Saxon's Firewall Project. Destiny's Children was actually released in France as a groovy thing in the, but well, this is a tale for another video. So that explains the extremely atypical for TMBG lyrical content and musical stylings of Bills, 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 but oh brother is it great. I've actually mostly been listening to Phone Power all week on shuffle while riding my bicycle around every day, and I secretly just keep hoping that the next song is Bills, Bills, Bills. It's so much fun. And then the other remake is one of the band's own, Black Ops, from the Nanobots album. And I loved this quiet, intense version of Black Ops here. The one on Phone Power, which is Black Ops Alt, is the song sped up and done as a peppy, fuzzy rock song. If I understand correctly, it's become a popular song in their live show in this form. And I really like it, although between the two, I would choose the one on Nanobots. Anyway, I like how they put those two remakes back to back on side two of Phone Power. They belong together, maybe. The other thing that impressed me about Phone Power was the amazing textures in a lot of the songs, especially songs like Daylight and Say Nice Things About Detroit and I'll Be Haunting You are just fascinating. Daylight, which Flansburg says is about addiction, but not him, is a gorgeous, super psychedelic tone poem that just floats and floats. Say Nice Things About Detroit has a dry kind of angular guitar riff like, like a 1960s spy movie theme. Kind of like If I Wasn't Shy from Apollo 18. I'll Be Haunting You is sort of like those two mashed together, so it has a great balance of thoughtful drama and a sly kind of beat. Phone power is wide enough for other stuff, too. I sold my mind to the Kremlin, which is apparently Flansburg's artful rumination on liberals and conservatives in America, has a fun kind of clap-along, sing-along chorus, and it's really catchy. I Wasn't Listening is a short, silly country song about dial song itself. Ekna Lubma is a John Linnell song about household accidents and injuries and the noble and dramatic arrival of the ambulance and the, the, the heroic EMTs and the siren and everything. One of the best melodies on Phone Power, I think, is Trouble, Awful, Devil, Evil. And it's both John singing the chorus, which is just those words repeated, lifting higher and higher and higher. It's really pretty. By the way, two of the songs on Phone Power weren't technically part of Dial a Song 2015. They were both released in December 2014 as a sort of teaser bonus. One is the one about Dial a Song, I wasn't listening, and one is Got Getting Up So Down, which is a funky little number originally from a Dunkin' Donuts ad campaign that They Might Be Giants did in 2006. So, that's Phone Power. A great end to the Dial a Song 2015 project and an excellent record to stick on the turntable and play. You take a little trip through the humorous and skillful musical worlds of They Might Be Giants and their producer Pat Dillett on this album. I love it. And speaking of the record, the vinyl version of Phone Power is another gatefold. 
as we saw, uh, without lyrics. All four surfaces of this gatefold, plus the uh, inner, the glossy inner sleeve here, have this cool uh, decoration, this typographic designs from Paul Sayer. What I like about them is that each one has a unique color scheme, that they look really cool against the white background. What else I like is that they look old school, like 1980s text-only computer screens, you know, like MS-DOS. But when you look closer, the letters are doing things that were clearly created on a modern desktop design platform. It's a good visual metaphor for the influence of the past informing the art of now, just like in the album's music. Still would like to have the printed lyrics, though. Again, as on other recent They Might Be Giants albums that I've bought, the download code worked, for what it's worth. And phone power was pressed on normal black vinyl, but I opted for the limited edition 180 gram white vinyl. Only 500 of these were made, so I'm one of the few lucky ones that gets to watch the big fabulous white platter and just a spinning and a spinning around and around while all that wonderfulness blasts out of the speakers. So that's my take on phone power. I'll sum it all up with a corny line and a great line from the album's final song, I Wasn't Listening. My mind is a desert, and dial a song is the horizon line. Well done, they. After their super busy year of dial a song 2015, They Might Be Giants took it easy before returning with a very similar dial a song project in 2018, which resulted in three more albums that I've not yet heard. I Like Fun, My Murdered Remains, and The Escape Team, which I keep calling The Escape Club. I gotta get out of that habit. But anyway, the next, um, the next album, uh, next video will be I Like Fun, which I'm going to go listen to now and for the next week. So I'll see you then. Can't wait. Don't drop the record. Okay, so it goes in easily. Mm, mm, mm. And of course, I don't miss the extra $10 now, and I'm glad I got the white vinyl. It's gonna look awesome sitting on the, or spinning on the turntable. Phone power. <laughs> Cardboard power. Then there's the two remakes. <clears throat> then there's the two remakes on phone power. Then, Bills, Bills, Bills is a classic 1990-90-90-90. Eknalubma is a John Linnell song about hassle. Eknalubma is an, have uh, this decorated with typer, typographic. What I like about them, oops, what I like about each one is that uh, they each have a unique color scheme and they look cool against the white background. What's your problem? Again, as on other recent. Phone power is hecking awesome. <laughs>